Servus und grüß euch miteinander. Hi everybody. My name is Dieter Manshura. I'm the owner of the Artelino Company and we sell Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. The topic of today's video is a famous Osaku Hanga artist. His name is Onichi Hiratsuka. He was born in 1895 on the island of Honshu in Japan. He was a student of Ishi Hakute, also a famous painter and printmaker. Later he became a teacher at Tokyo University of Art and he taught mainly woodblock printmaking and he became and he was a leading and one of the most famous Sosaku Hanga artists. In order to explain and to present Onichi Hiratsuka, I have to talk about what the Sosanga art, art movement is. Well, we have to go back to the traditional Japanese woodblock printmaking of the 19th and 18th century. That was a teamwork of an artist and of artisans and a publisher. The artist just made the design. He didn't carve any blocks, he did not print. And there were professionals who often had an apprenticeship of many, many, many years. Um, they were skilled in carving and there was a damn job. You had to make one wood block for each color, imagine. And also the printing was not so easy. Imagine this grading what called Boccaccio and... Well, and then at the beginning of the 20th century, this old form of woodblock printmaking was commercially dead. And now there were two movements. One was Shinhanga that kept this old traditional teamwork, but made a kind of renaissance of it. Okay, put some modern Western elements into it. And there were the Sosako Hanga artists. These were young people. Many of them had studied art in Paris at that time, at the end of the 19th century, that was the mecca of arts and there was Impressionism and already Expressionism and at the beginning of the 20th century um, already artists like Picasso uh, went one step further. And these Japanese students had picked up the European um, understanding of an artist as a kind of a genius and the artist, uh, he gets some divine idea from above, but of course he has to do everything himself. I mean, how can you be an artist when you just make the design and some professionals uh, do the rest? Yeah, this is not the stroke of a genius. And that was the Sosako Hanga art movement. It started so around 1910 and continued uh, basically uh, until after World War II. But there was one problem. These artists, they were not skilled in how to make a woodblock print. And that was the challenge. And a little bit, their art looks yeah, a little bit challenged, which however, uh, is a certain charm, makes these images look charming and collectors like that. Unichi Hiratsuka had learned how to make a woodblock print and he made a lot of classes teaching his other colleagues, his Sosako Hanga artists, how to do that. That was his great merit. Let's talk a little bit about his subjects. Um, he made a lot of landscapes, but also Buddhist subjects, often in black and white. And, um, well, we also like to make nudes. As a teacher, um, he, he had two famous students. One was Shiko Munakata, the Japanese Picasso. The other one was Fumio Kitaoka. In 1962, Onichi Hiratsuka went to the USA. To, uh, Washington DC, what had happened, his daughter had married an American and he went with his daughter to the USA, but there he continued to work and to have exhibitions. Um, by that time he was already very famous. He had exhibitions in the US uh, all over and in Japan, of course. And while he was in Washington DC, 
uh, he designed a series of 100 female nude sets, um, famous. In Japan, he was honored very, very much. In 1991, an Onichi Hiratsuka Museum was opened and the Japanese emperor declared him a sacred national treasure. Yeah, finally, in 1994, he returned to Japan and three years later, in 1997, he died at the age of 102. Let's talk a little bit um, about the prints from an aspect of a collector. Prices are from, well, let's say from a few hundred dollars to a thousand or sometimes even a several thousand dollars. And if you want to learn more about Hunichi Hiratsuka, you can study several hundred sold prints by him in our archive. And you find a few articles uh, well decorated with these prints in our article section of our website of artelino.com. For today, enough. Thanks for watching and have a good time.